Hey guys, Andy here. I have here today the Airman 12 volt compact air compressor tire inflator with gauge. Um, recommended to me by Drew, thank you very much, after doing the tire pressure gauge review the other day, um, which turned out to be very handy for me, as you'll see shortly. So I've had a quick look around the box. Let's crack on and see what's inside. First thing you get is this sort of canvas bag. It's one of the ones that feels kind of a mix between fabric and paper. A little bit weird, but uh, you know, it does the job. Here's the actual device, nothing else left in, just the device and some instructions and warranty information, things like that. I'm not gonna worry too much about the instructions. I mean, I read them, don't you know, but nothing you wouldn't expect to have read, to be fair. Um, let's remove that little protective cover from the pressure gauge. Then here's what I found to be the only downside, and maybe I was just unlucky. Well, I probably was just unlucky. I couldn't get this bleeding little bag out. So there's, there's little converter bits in there that let you blow up your football or goodness knows what else. And clearly one of them had got sideways stuck in this hole and just would not come out. I try, you know, I tried to jimmy it, turn it, rotate it, move it, get it to a wider bit. And it just, well, I was getting angry at this point, as you can see. There it is. Look. And it, you know, you think, well, just how did it get in there if it won't come out? But there was just nothing, and I was I was getting quite annoyed with it. And I did, so I, I try not to revert to brute, brute strength, but it got to the point where this thing's coming out, whether it likes it or not, even if I break the whole thing, I'm then sending it back saying, you idiots. Anyway, so there it is, it popped out. Unfortunately, it did break something, and I think possibly the little clasp that holds the yellow, so there are the converters on the floor, and there's the little bit of something that I broke off, which possibly is supposed to hold the yellow bit closed but it seems to stay closed anyway um, but yeah that was quite annoying anyway so then let's have a look we've got the actual tube that the air is uh, passed along to the tire and we have the power cable which seems plenty long enough it tucks away neatly underneath so it is it's quite a compact neat unit they talk about it being or fitting in your glove box which yeah I guess it would so I just pop it all away and I figure, right, let's go out and I'll, uh, I'll try it on my bike. Because I, I went to the gym in the morning I thought, it feels like the rear tyre is lacking a lot of air. You know, really hard for me to move the bike around and you could feel it as I was turning cause, I could feel the rear wobble. And clearly you can see, that's pretty flat. So good timing, I just happened to have bought an air compressor the day before. So I'm going to use, luckily this bike, it's not actually my bike as well, they've lent it me while my bike's been repaired. Lucky it's got a 12 volt socket, otherwise, otherwise I'd use the car obviously. And I ran the engine, I don't know if you need to, you probably don't, but I guess it's the safer way to ensure you don't flatten your battery basically. Uh, there's quite a lot of cable, I could, actually when I th saw it I thought that's loads of cable, but actually it was, it was quite close, I mean you can see there there's a good spare 30 or 40 centimetres perhaps, but I guess, I guess that's enough to get to any wheel of a car, for example, from, from the socket. Now, you can see there it said literally there's a zero, de zero PSI. So, well, let me double check with my other air pressure. And I didn't realize that you can't read that, but I can tell you it did agree that there was like one or two PSI in it. Okay, so the, the gauge probably is correct. It probably just doesn't have any air at all in it. So, there we go, it is running. And I think, okay, well, then I thought, should I just leave the camera going? We'll see how long it takes. But then, yeah, it's quite a boring video, to be honest. I better edit it out. So I cut out literally two minutes, and we will jump ahead as I lift it up. There we go. But two minutes later, you, know, you can't really, it's hard to see when the, the large, so it's, it's at around 30 psi at this point, just above, and I'm wanting about 32, and it's just about there. So I'm going to kill the power, you can see the gauge, you can't see too well, when I look closer I can see it is about 32, and again let's just double check, my other gauge says the same, and that is saying about 32, so I'm quite happy with that, as far as accuracy, I don't think, well, do you know what, my rear tyres, I think I've got like slow, really, really slow punches on my rear tyres, so I thought, well, let's just do them on the car, it did take a lot longer, I would guess, six or seven minutes to go just from 23, 24 up to about 32, 33 um, and you can feel the unit getting hot. It, it does say don't run it for more than 10 minutes and I'd imagine because it's getting hotter and hotter and hotter. 
but it did it. Well, I mean, yeah, I didn't wait for it to go all the way to maybe 36 or something, but it did the trick, so well, good job. I'm quite pleased with that, quite impressed with it. Let's see how easily it goes back into the bag with all this cable. But actually, you wrap it around your hand, tuck the power connector in first, and then the cable tucks away quite neatly. So this is on Amazon for 18.99. I will drop a link down below. If you're going to buy one, please use my link. It gives me a few extra pennies to say thank you. Um, 18 99 with Prime, same day delivery. So I ordered this, I don't know what time it was, like 9 in the morning and it came 9 in the evening. Pretty handy. Back in the bag it goes. Ready for next time. There you go. My name's Andy. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'll catch you all again soon. Ah, you made it all the way to the end. Well done. So thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please do subscribe by clicking the little fellow over on this side of the screen. You might also wanna check out the other videos, should be just there. Check out my website as well, androidandy.uk, made by me, I'm learning HTML and PHP, so hopefully it's uh, functional, but I'll see you again in the next video.